I actually ended up in pharmacy school by accident. <laughs> um, I had intended and thought um, very much that I would go to medical school. And I had a family friend that said, have you ever thought about being a pharmacist? And my answer was, no, I have not. Um, and he, he encouraged me to look into that. He himself was a pharmacist. And he said, I really think that you have a, a great personality and kind of what it would take to be a good pharmacist. You should look into that. So, okay. So I did some research and actually applied to the Gatton College of Pharmacy during the first year cohort, really not knowing what to expect and really not being sure that I was going to go to pharmacy school. Um, I was lucky enough to be accepted and entered the, the first class at the pharmacy school. And honestly, I still wasn't really sure that it was for me at that time. Um, but I met some really great mentors um, along the way who showed me all the things I could do with my PharmD. And at that moment, I knew that I really wanted to be a clinical pharmacist. It really fit me. It's a problem solving. It's a puzzle fixing always. You know, you're always trying to make sure that we're moving things from point A to point B, um, thinking at a deeper level about what does it actually mean to tell a patient to take these medications? Because we can have a really great plan but if they can't execute the plan, then we really haven't done the patients any favors. And so I got to see a lot of really great clinical pharmacists who taught me along the way and showed me that's what I wanted to do as a clinical pharmacist. So once I decided that, I knew that the only path to get to where I wanted to go was to go to a residency. Um, so I did two years of residency and um, never regretted that decision for a minute. I enjoyed every second of my training. It's hard. Those are hard times or hard years, but the value that you get out of that is just outstanding. And I'm a much better pharmacist for the time I spent in my training.